What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly the program and software that we use, which is what converts to track all of the information correlated with inbound calls. So as you know, there's multiple different platforms, multiple different sources, anywhere from landing pages, Google Local Services, Google My Business, variants of your landing page, Google Ad Extensions, websites, and you want to be able to track where the quality leads are coming from. And not only that, but what converts also gives you the ability to listen to your call. So you could actually listen to recordings or review a transcribe. So I'm gonna get into all the little granular details of what converts and how we use it to improve the quality of our inbound calls. And it helps us really make decisions of where we should allocate budget. So I'm gonna show you exactly behind the scenes of two of our accounts so you could get a better understanding. We'll see you inside. All right, guys, so this is behind the scenes of what converts. This is their interface. Now, what you want to do is you want to just head over to Google and type in whatconverts.com. If you're an individual client, you just want to set up an individual account. If you are an agency like Clever Digital Marketing is, you want to set up an agency right away and grab all of your clients and put them through here. It's going to make everything easy. And this is one of the platforms where majority of the work is done up front. So setting up uh, the ability to track, setting up your zaps. I'll get on, into all the nuances in a bit. And then really the focus, the, the benefit of what converts is the data that it relays you and quality control. All right. So you, again, you want to just head over to whatconverts.com and we're going to start with the basics now. So you want to head over to tracking as soon as you set up your account. So you want to just come to your profile over here. And then this is the account that we're using. Go to user settings, update your profile, add your billing card. Plan that I'm on right now is 200 a month. That's because across the two different logins that we have, we have about 15 to 20 different uh, clients that are using what converts. But for now, just start with an individual account so you can get used to it. The second thing is you want to set up your number. So tracking calls, phone numbers. I'm going to block out the tracking numbers and the forwarding calls here, but essentially tracking numbers is the number that what converts generates from you. You could choose a local number. You could choose any number. And then you have some columns here, name, source. We'll get into that a little bit. And then we have the forward call section. So any call that comes from this number will forward to this number. Now I know I have this all blurred out, but all these numbers are the same because this company only has one number that represents their company. But the tracking number is a little bit more particular because we have a tracking number for ad extensions, planning page, social profiles, and website. How cool is that? All right. So anyways, you want to come to tracking calls, phone numbers, and we're going to add a phone number just to show you how it looks. Now you're going to have two options. You're going to have the typical setup and the advanced setup. I like to do advanced setup. It's not really much of a difference. Typical setup is just a one way setup, advanced setup. You could you know, adjust nuances uh, to your liking. So we're going to do advanced setup. And now there is three different options. Okay. You have a website, Google ad extension and offline. All right. Now Google ad extension and offline, pretty straightforward. We'll touch on that in a bit, but website gives you the option to have a dynamic number pool. Okay. So a dynamic number pool essentially means that there's multiple numbers that are going to be forwarded. The reason you would use a dynamic number pool is if you have a lot of phone numbers. Now, if I only did, let's say offline, okay. Offline is supposed to be used for print ads, mail, emails, etc. If I use this for my website and I have four calls coming in at once, the three other calls are just going to be directed to voicemail. And I'm going to lose out on those three leads, which we don't want to do that. But when you go website and you do dynamic uh, number pool, and this is just this option here is because I already have an existing number pool, but you want to use dynamic number pool. So you could have multiple numbers uh, that could appear at once. So instead of having one, you're going to have four numbers that redirect to that, to your actual company number. So the description pretty much says new numbers will be displayed in your website dynamically changing based on the traffic source that generated the lead. Okay. Now I do want to touch on that because that really confused me when I first started with what converts in order to get your number change on your website, you just have to integrate what converts with your website by installing a pixel, just as if you were going to install a Google tag pixel or install a Facebook pixel. It's the same thing, right? So when you install that pixel, the pixel is essentially saying, I want to replace this number with a dynamic pool of numbers. And then 
it replaces it based off the session that you're in. So I'm in Toronto. I'm going to go on the window and door landing page, and I'm going to have a certain number. My One of my colleagues in, let's say, in one of our colleagues in Miami is going to go on the single hung window collection, and it came from Facebook, but still is on the web came from Facebook, but is on the website on a different landing page because he's a different session and user and different IP address. He's going to have a different number and that's just how they operate. So a dynamic pool is going to be used for your website. Okay. Now we'll start off with doing an offline event, an offline setup, just because for the most part, this is what most of you guys are going to use. And now for the website, you could use offline for your website if you have very little traffic and you only have one number displayed and you're getting no, no more than two, three calls, inbound calls uh, a day. You could still do this, but if you're at volume, like if you're getting more than four or five calls a day, you're spending a decent amount of money, go through the website setup. Now we're going to set up with offline. We're going to hit next step. And then it will always suggest to do for tracking numbers. So it's, this is essentially playing as a dynamic pool, but these are, are static for different numbers, right? So if we're going to do email, like you, you have four different emails for four different of your employees or colleagues or whatever, maybe then you could use four different numbers and have one number for each email signature, right? But in this case, we'll just start with one. I'm in Canada. So I'm going to put Canada local. I'm in the uh, 647 Toronto by numbers here, are all a bunch of numbers they could offer us. So we're going to head with this one and it next step, enter destination number. We're going to put my number here, which is blocked out to what destination number should be forward calls. Tell us where to route the incoming calls. Typically the destination number is the one currently displaying your website. So put the, the number that you want the actual destination to be. Okay. And you always want to name your tracking numbers very accurately. So we're going to do May 2022. We're going to do email signature for Peter. Okay. You want to stay organized because it's going to be torture later down the line. You want to hit next step. Call recording is free with an agency account. So we record all of our calls and a call greeting. Don't typically have a call greeting, but some of our clients do. But personally, for me, and most of my clients don't have it. So we're going to turn off call greeting. Call whisper is pretty cool because yeah, you're getting about five to 10 different calls a day, right? So you want to know where this number is coming from. We said this would be specifically for Peter. So when me, when I answer the call, I want to know like, you know, an idea of who this person is, especially if they're coming from an email signature, because I'm probably just in recent communication with that person. So I could say this call is from your email signature right so we're going to use joanna's voice this call is from your email signature and then what's really cool is you could use variables if they capture the source let's say they came from well in this case it's coming from email but let's say if you're doing google you could say oh they came from the uh toronto campaign targeting windows right so source would be google and then the campaign would be Toronto Windows scale campaign, right? And then this again, call is from your email signature. It would start, it would start like that. And then you connect with the caller right away. Okay. It's a really, really, really cool feature. You want to track text messages. Not a big deal. It, it, it is a cool feature, but it's not something that we are very much using across our, our clients' accounts. They can't really up to them if you want to be in, in constant communication with leads that don't pick up for whatever reason. So transcription, uh, read details from your calls without the need to listen to the entire call recording. Additional fees will apply. And this is a cool feature that I use. Again, I have an agency account, so all this does not add additional. It's just a flat 200 a month. And then they have PCI redaction. So that means if you are talking to someone and they're providing you their credit card details, those numbers will automatically get blurred out in, in any transcribes or any recordings. Really, really cool feature. Makes your customers feel more comfortable and you're keeping their, their information confidential. So you just want to hit finish. I'm not going to do it because I'm on a client's account and that is it. So now what we want to do is we want to go to integrations. You, If you want to connect to your Facebook profile, let's say you have numbers. So you, have, you could do call extensions on your ads. You could have your phone number on your profile. Like there's so many different ways and you just connect through Facebook. And that is it. Bing, search 360. Don't use Google Analytics. If you want to track the details through Google Analytics, you could connect it. As you can see, we've done it. 
And then Google ads, Google ads, connect your Google ads account and we'll send conversions based on leads tracked. Um, so this also helps with your Google ad extensions. And it just automatically appears the number that you got from what converts will just appear in your ad extensions now dynamically and in your website you can do this with an API. Okay. And then you have different options here. So you can do it with chats as well. I use drift. They don't have drift. So that would have to be through an API, but you have Zendesk and Zoho, which are very popular ones. They connect right with HubSpot and Salesforce. They have page builders, which I probably don't suggest. And then Zapier. Zapier is really, really cool. And I'm going to show you guys or explain later on what we use and how we use Zapier with what converts. So now if we come to the dashboard, if we come to leads, you could see a lot of the information from the leads, which could be anywhere from the type. So it's a phone call, of course, but they also track form submissions when you install the pixel on your website, lead ID, lead state, phone number, their, their phone number, the source, medium campaign keyword. And then if you come here, you could see the recording. So I know right away that any duration segment that's over three minutes is a, a very high quality lead. Three minutes, anything less than one minute really is not a good lead whatsoever. If it's anywhere from three minutes and above, that is a good sign. So as we could see right off the bat, Google CPC is working a lot better than organic, right? And vice versa. Like it's not working as good as CPC and we need to figure out what the reason is. And you could come down to the, uh, the lead page, the keyword and see really what the issue is. There's not a one way fit for this. You have to just kind of be a dynamic thinker when it comes to um, digesting the information from what converts and making a logical decision, okay? So the leads will give you all the recordings. If you come in here, right, you could literally listen to the recording. It tells you all the information, the browser operating system, country, zip code, the transcript is here. It's the lead ID. You can mark it as spam. It's just a really robust system to just track all of your phone calls. Now with Zapier, it's a pretty cool feature that could be used. Now I'm just going to log into Zapier and I just connected my client's account through here and I created a test zap or a dummy uh, zap and it just shows you the type of actions that you could do so if a phone call was completed you could say no phone call was completed and then send this lead information as a text message notification so pretty much the logic is an inbound call happened but nobody answered from the company then we need to send an email or a text notification to a or b person or group of people and send them a message saying to call this lead back immediately. So this, we do this for a lot of our clients who are spending upwards of like 150,000 a month because we wanna capitalize on every single lead. So you could say phone calls, no, and then phone calls in progress, you wanna put no, text messages, you wanna do all this, refresh fields, and then you could do email by Zapier, send outbound email, we're just gonna use my email, we're going to send myself an email from me to me. And then in body, I have to complete the step, but essentially you could add all of these details here. I have to make sure everything is, is added here, but you could add all the information. So you, again, you could say you guys missed this call from this time from this customer who called in from Google ads, right? So if you want to really capitalize on what converts, use Zapier as in, in conjunction with what converts, be able to, you know, call back leads that were never spoken to, or maybe they just called after hours. All right. The last thing that I want to touch on is something called a multi ring. So if you come back to what converts, you go to calls and then you go to call flows. Actually, I'm going to show you through uh, another account here, just mine. So tracking calls, call flows and you come to May 2022 multi-ring. So essentially what happens is when an incoming call happens to the number that we set up, right? So you have to set up a number first and then you could use call flows to create some cool sequences. So first step is call recording. Okay. Very straightforward. And then the next step is a dual call. So this is me naming it and it goes through two people, including myself. 
And then step two is how should the call be connected? A multi ring. So simultaneously dial multiple recipients and connect the caller, whomever answers first. Okay. So if one of my colleagues is busy and you know, this is a lead coming from let's say email or Facebook marketing or whatever the case is, I need someone to answer that call. So there is a backup person to answer those calls. And that person knows it's coming as inbound lead specifically, you know, to inquire for our services. All right. So he could, he or she could answer the call ready to speak in that person's tonality and just have a better insight as to what the call's purpose is. So these are some of the cool nuances involved with what converts. I showed you guys how to use Zapier in conjunction with what converts. And I really suggest that even if you're, if you're an agency or if you're a service-based business owner, you're spending at least five, 10, 15, 20,000 plus on ads if you're getting a decent amount of inbound leads, you should definitely spend one full day setting up your account, optimizing it, um, connecting what converts to Google, to your website, and adding this to your day-to-day -day as a management role or CEO. So you could have quality control and you could see what really works for you. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, go in the comments, type it, and I'll be sure to respond. We'll see you guys next time.